I was so upset because watching it, I was like, that's fucking cool. But like watching it, I was also like, I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> Basement dwellers, welcome. This is Jacement Discourse, and I now have a moustache. Also, there's Brady and Bottom Guy, Siberian Edition. Yes. That's a bonus skin. You've got to pay extra for that one. You've got the previously on, man. Oh, yeah. previously on. I have no fucking idea. I just probably said some really funny things, and then Brady was there. That sums it up. <laughs> that was a fucking half-assed fucking intro I've ever heard. One. Dude, Jesus. I don't remember what we did last week. We what, had what did we? Oh, Claire! Wait, did we? That was nah, last week. that wasn't last no. week, was it? Surely no, not. last week was a solo week. Was it? Yes. I thought this was the next solo week. No. Basement Dwellers sitting again. here like, fuck, these guys are idiots. No, no, no. I don't do retakes. That, that's... No, this, this, this is happening. Yeah, no, this is happening. Anyway, just working so it out. Let's bring this back to what we were talking about before we started the podcast, because this is kind of podcast worthy even though we were just shit talking so we were talking and about the podcast, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay yeah fair um so we were talking about anime shonen and dbz more specifically and brady was mentioning how watching through super like they actually sort of have a dig at goku for constantly wanting to just power up and power up and I've been watching Bleach a lot lately. I'm currently, I think I'm in the 110 years ago arc or just after that, when they're back at Katakura town. Um, those who've seen it will know what I'm talking about. I'm about 200 episodes in out of 366. Um, and the one thing that I've noticed with Bleach and it definitely happened in Dragon Ball. I've only watched up to a bit of Super, but all the way from Dragon Ball through Z and blah, blah, blah. Um, shonen anime seems to have a really bad habit of this weird one-upsmanship. It's not like people ever like just gain skills or improve. Like They're never like, oh, hey... This guy, you know, he sort of spins every time he comes in for an attack. So if I, you know, outsmart him and parry him or whatever, I can get an attack in. It's always like, nope, I've got to push my skill or power to the next level. It's always this weird level up thing. Like the whole, like, Bankai thing with Bleach. So, um, I don't, how far are you in Bleach, Justin? Oh, about seven episodes, the same as okay. five months ago. <laughs> <laughs> so three months, four month old podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so you know when they they've basically got their um, fuck, I forget the name of the blade. Uh, Shikai. Yeah. So basically, when they pull their sword out, it, it's called oh, the Shikai. Uh, so it's Zanpakuto is the name. Yeah, yeah, the, the Zanpakuto. Yep. When they've got that out, that's technically their Shikai, which is like their battle form, like their, their standard fighting form. Right, right, right. Then they can evolve their weapon to a Bankai, which is like, it basically makes their swords become fucking magical, Anything. whatever. Yeah. Like, it becomes yeah. absurd. But then as it gets later and later they seem to be able to like level up their bunkai and unlike dragon ball where they seem to give them new names every time they go up they don't as far as i've gotten but there's always this weird like instead of oh i'll just outsmart them or improve my technique it's just like i'm gonna make my sword stronger and mm. it, it's just this weird uh, it 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 brings me actually to another show which i've been tr i've been mulling this over trying to work out why it does so well why it's so fucking popular and that's uh demon slayer here and i know that justin's just watched some so he might have fresh insight as our least anime experience but man just fucking segued in a half yeah that yeah, was yeah. clean bro <laughs> clean but in demon slayer they don't do that as much they no don't not as much agree. 
Yeah, but I mean, they do, they take on new forms, a right? Lot, but he <laughs> yeah. thinks a lot, which is very different. Like the, he does the only see thing things that I find that annoying way though, outpower him, and he, he doesn't thinks out loud though. That's the thing that pisses me off. I'm gonna use my water power number three. Yeah, no, welcome That's to our uh, show. <laughs> well, welcome to anime, pretty much standardly, to be honest. Yeah, but it's across it's like, the board. Has to describe um, exactly what he's seeing the enemy doing and then explain why he needs to do this to try and offset the fact that the enemy is doing this. Yeah, like, no, yeah, that's, yeah. that's yeah. very shown. I am trying. also watching this, so. <laughs> yeah, but um, Tanjiro doesn't always technically like meet their level or surpass it in a fight. He just works out, oh, their technique works like this, so I'm just going to do this to work with it. Like, yeah, that, yeah. I think that is the only, that and its lack of anything sexual. It has love sick, but it's like somewhat purer and more innocent. But yeah, it doesn't... The, yeah. the weird thing with his sister is what you're getting yeah. at. The the Zenitsu and his sister. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, that just was trying thing... to leave that blank because I don't know if that <laughs> comes up before Justin. Uh, is, yeah. is Zenitsu the annoying ranger in there? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh man. He's, he's not a ranger. He's worst. blonde, by the way. You oh, said that in a message, and I was like, "What?" He's I thought he had like orangey hair. hair. Yeah, it looks kind of orangey in some scenes. Uh, so here's the, the coolest like core story as well. Like him being, you know, like the way he is and how he got his powers is kind of cool. And then, like, just the whole like how he is and just like he never learns from it, never improves, or so far. Yeah. Yeah. No. It, like, I'm, I, I'm up to shit. like I finished Mugen Train, so that's. The movie that's set just after the yeah um, straight away first season but um so is that the I'm movie that's also most of the season uh the it's like the first season third two. or something yeah yeah okay. yeah of season yeah. two so yeah. you can you can watch season one then watch the movie then continue on with like episode 16 or something of season two or something like that i can't remember how many mm. numbers but it's it's about it's about that many um or you can watch the movie cut up into 20 minute parts with beginning and end credits for reasons unknown yeah no i'm not gonna do that <laughs> but um all the same um yeah it, it does get a bit weird with zenitsu but he doesn't that is the one problem that i have with him is that he doesn't seem to learn like he, he maybe he does yeah. later on because i'm he hoping he does relatively he'd... newish you know what would be awesome is if yeah. he comes out as like the demon slayer like <laughs> the end of it is just him being fully awakened and being like man i was such a bitch back then now look at me i don't know so i've watched a bit further than you guys so i don't want to do spoilers but i haven't yeah, read this cool. manga only because like i picked it up and i went uh it looks good like it's well drawn but this this anime like it's setting new animation standards it's outrageous i kind of don't want to read it just because i want to watch it for the first time as it unfolds because it is so yeah gorgeous. true true but yeah back to the story points anyway like they do a little bit of the one-up stuff as it goes on because you learn that he is new to this but i also don't mind how they do it because he is new to this in bleach he's new to this and then catches up to the dudes who are literally hundreds of years in training very mm. quickly now they breeze through some explanations as the show goes on but nonetheless like that's a bit silly whereas in demon slayer like he runs into something way too op so he outthinks it and then he outthinks it and then he eventually gets into a situation where it's just too much he can't outthink it and he needs help and these sort of things occur and then he goes through more training and gets better but he still doesn't <laughs> get to that next that actually kind of reminds me of another anime that you're probably not going to want me to associate but uh my hero probably. academia i i don't uh, hate my hero for the record I, I think i have this like i've put that feel out there but i, I don't mm. hate it i i just think that one of the things i like about um deku like the protagonist from it is like to set you up justin because i know you haven't watched mha yeah but um He's basically, he was born without powers and nearly everyone in the world is normally born with it's like some, 70% or something yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, are right, born with right. powers and, and they can go into careers and schools and stuff to train to become heroes or 
medics or whatever, like utilize their abilities to be beneficial in the world. Yep. What do all the normies do in that world? <laughs> just, just like normal, and shit. Just normal yeah, staff, yeah, just, just normal <laughs> jobs. Normal so staff. they're it's just way worse at it. I wonder they, if they, they, uh, uh, do they pay them that... separately. Is there like a pay know. difference? There's a heap there of would like be. people <laughs> who don't bastards. have good powers they're as well. School at the moment. Fuck yeah. equal employment opportunities. Like, those guys suck. I've got special abilities. Pay me three times the wage. I'm pretty sure Deku's, Deku's mom has telekinesis, but it's only stuff within like two feet of her and she can only lift it like a foot or something yeah. ridiculous. Mm. Th so there are people like... who do have powers that aren't that great. So yes, 70% of the population are powered, but it's not all like... Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's kind of like not all Captain, God Planet, <laughs> Captain Planet and like there's that one dude who just has the power of like friendship. <laughs> He's just like heart? Yeah, pretty much. Had yeah, a heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like fire, water, earth, uh, air, air, yeah, and heart. air and yeah. Yeah, water, and you're like, or whatever. What the and then... fuck does heart do? <laughs> like, every but he's friend... always the one that brings them all back together because they're always fighting each other. And he's like, "Come on, guys, you gotta love each other, child. Let's get our Captain Planet." How but do you yeah. make everything? And then they all creepy. strike their rings, and every they're like, time. Oh, "Captain Planet." Come on out now. Anyway, Broke back to rings. My Hero Academia. <laughs> um, so with that, um, the main character has no abilities and through sheer chance and just Give blind it luck, <laughs> yeah. um, he ends up basically being given a power that is pretty much the ultimate power ever. However, his body can't handle it. Mm. If he channels a hundred percent of the power, it will literally just blow him to pieces. That's cool. Mm. So like and microwaving he's... something for too long. Just... Yeah, that's, that's actually... actually an analogy they <laughs> use in the show. Yeah, they use that <laughs> microwaving an egg, isn't it? Yeah, and it's he's, an egg. Yeah, he's mm. focusing on it. But um. Oh man, have you all ever uh, done that? <laughs> no, no. Oh, don't cook your eggs in the microwave, son. I, I don't eat that's... eggs. It's fine. This is true. Why is the yeah. only person here who's done that is a fucking chef? That's a terrible yeah, idea. I am never going to his chef house. Oh, man. No, never. <laughs> Just 15 microwaves with no doors on them. So you can put them in quicker. <laughs> no Justin doors. opens his new fucking cafe, the eggery. <laughs> Just microwave eggs. <laughs> The whole game is you just got to dodge the ones that explode. <laughs> so it's just going to be called the sterile because it's 15 microwaves without doors that somehow still work. <laughs> oh, I've seen this in real life. Absolutely. Kitchens. So my hero have... academia. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically he's been given the best ability possible, but he can't really use it very well. And so sometimes... They do the one-upsmanship and they're like, oh, he can use 10% of his power now. And he just fucks everyone up. But a lot of the time he has to actually think. And when he had no powers, his thing was he would watch people with powers and he'd be like, okay, well, they do this. And then if they do that, then I can see an opening to do this. And he figures it all out and he has a whole notebook on mm. how everyone fights and all that sort of shit. And so... A lot of what he does is strategic, much like Tanjiro, which yeah. when they utilize those elements of storytelling, those shows are at their peak yeah. because they're not just like, oh, protagonist got stronger. Therefore, everyone die. And then yes. we get so... stronger. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Don't I'm even not gonna play like. Yeah. I'm not gonna play Dragon Ball Savior by any means, but I will say the later stages and the current stages of Dragon Ball Super have negated all of that. So they've stopped. I don't know if it's because like the writers got older and he's been watching other shows, or <laughs> he's finally stopped watching Dragon Ball. He's like, hmm, <laughs> he's you, you know watching... what? You know what I should do? I should imagine. maybe watch some something yeah. else apart from Dragon Ball. My whole yeah, he's life. going through Bleach now. <laughs> he's just... <laughs> He's just like started to watching Bleach. He's like, when... no, this is too similar. Hmm, maybe I try something else. And then he goes, <laughs> he goes to like when my Dragon hero, Ball and he's like, came out, oh, though, this is different. Z, Z is drastically <laughs> different to Dragon Ball. Drastically. Dragon Ball was a, uh, it was a wild ride. Yeah, Z is way different. And then GT was like whatever. But Super is, they stopped. 
they they wanted to start focusing on the characters a little bit more, but they also incorporated a shitload of fan service, which made it weird. So like, they've they've got an arc with Future Trunks coming back, just because people loved Future Trunks. They've got um, hey, who's fucking? Yeah, yeah, that was really <laughs> loud. I was about, I was just in the middle yeah, of writing yeah. something. It's all good. Whoa. Um, <laughs> so they, they have an arc with future trunks returning then they have uh like freezer comes back they do a bunch of these like callback arcs but then they start upgrading people personally and then the manga is done even better so vegeta's the big example vegeta's redemption is actually redemption in super mm. so in z he was just like i'm a bad guy and then i guess i'll fight for the good guys that was yeah. kind of it whereas uh, in super like they a starting so i don't want to do manga spoilers but you guys don't really care about super if anyone listening hasn't read the manga because what i'm about to talk about now will be in the future animated super episodes you can skip past this there will be chapters i will brush over it quickly because it's context dependent i'll put in very specific chapters for this but um in the current manga they've started doing things like vegeta is making amends with the namekians that he killed and the ones who are surviving and deliberately defending them and the thought comes out of his mouth i need to defend these guys because of what i did to them in the past he goes off and learns uh from the people who taught goku instant transmission how to do other techniques that those that weird race has because it's not just instant transmission that they have um and then he actually learns it's a rocky montage yeah (laughs) it's not a montage though they go about it slowly and well um he even learned instant transmission and then did it to like arrive on the battle scene and do a goku moment where he shows up almost in the nick of time to save everybody but he says i'm i just used it to get here i'm not going to take your signature move which is silly because an entire race knew it and taught it to goku so it's not really his signature but anyway um they do a bunch of that and then even with goku they started most recently they had this thing uh, where they do a bunch of callbacks to his parents and they explain to Goku the reason he can't use his new power well is because he doesn't know himself properly because he never actually explored his Saiyan origins properly. And then yeah. he starts seeing some recordings of his dad and something snapped and then that chapter's ended and I don't know what's coming. I mean, I can predict it, but I, uh, yeah. They're actually trying to write characters for once in this sh- fucking... So, to be it's fair... It's interesting as hell. At the start of Dragon Ball, they did, like, the original Dragon Ball. There was a lot mm. of character building. Because Dragon Ball, Goku is a child for pretty yeah. much all of it. Yeah, it's I like the, it's, last it's the last season tournament or something. The yeah. last little tournament thing, he's Dragon Ball Z-aged. So he's a child for the whole fucking thing. So a lot of it is him meeting all the other characters and stuff and then kicking the shit out of bad guys. But there's character building there. But Z... It is literally just fight after fight after fight yeah. after fight. And there's like fuck all story. Um, so yeah, I that's good, but too little too late. <laughs> like For 20 a lot years. of people it is. For a lot of people it is. But I mm. think that things like Demon Slayer have learned from that. Um, yeah. And, and I think a lot even, of animes learned from it, you know? I agree. Some people absolutely um, adore Dragon Ball, but people like myself, it's I'll funny never though, go back. Because there's still a little bit of you. I mean, I don't know about you, Justin, because you're so new to it. Um, mm. And I want to get your Demon Slayer takes for the episode rounds out for this stuff. Um, but the there's still a little bit of me, like even in Tokyo Ghoul, when we went from your normal uh, Kagane abilities to Kakuja where it was like fully encapsulated to a degree i was still like that's cool that's cool and in the back of my head i was like i'm a fucking idiot this is just a power up that, yeah. that has been story built in that wasn't previously a thing at all and then the same in dragon ball and the same in even demon slayer's not doing it as bad but i've predicted a few things that have happened in the recent season and this one i won't even bother doing a spoiler and a spoiler warning for because demon slayer is too loved by too many people i don't want to be attacked um but there is a couple things in the most recent season where i was like oh that's just an upgrade type thing um it it is a shonen trope i I don't know if they will ever get away for it because i hate it and a bit of me likes it 
Mm. I, I think the I real just don't thing... like the part of me that does like it. <laughs> I th I think the key problem though is that it's they used it too much as a crutch rather than an enhancement. Like if they just used it to build on the story or it was referenced earlier on in the series or whatever, you'd be like, oh, okay, you know, maybe our character will learn power up, blah. But it seems like it's like, oh, okay, so how do we make this fight more of a challenge than the one that we had last season? Yeah, how do we make it we'll different? We'll give them power-ups! <laughs> we'll make them stronger! Yeah, and so... It, it's, bigger hair! Yeah, it, it's legit <laughs> just it's always, a crutch. It's always bigger, different coloured hair, man. Yeah. Yeah, if it's not a bigger, bigger hair or bigger sword, mm. you pick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Justin, uh, so you said you've watched a few things this week, though, and one was Demon Slayer. So what... Yeah, uh, yeah. How did you feel about it, and what else did you watch? Because you mentioned a couple of things before we um, started recording. Attack on Titan as well, so... Fuck yes. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I've watched the first season of both of those now. Um, I'll start with Demon Slayer, because that's my most recent. I will not be able to name any of the characters, though. I don't oh. know why. I'm just drawing a blank. I so think... Bob uh, with the so sword and the green jacket um then there's Tindra. annoying bob then there's pig head bob <laughs> yeah so, so one thing they're doing in anime lately which i'm proud of them for but i kind of also understand why they never used to do it is they are doing uh just keeping the japanese names for a lot of stuff i'm um, totally cool is... that i just for some reason do but not... for a western okay. audience it is harder to recall things so mm. tanjiro um Inosuke and Zenitsu is who you're thinking of. That's right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I have that habit. Like even before the show started and we were discussing stuff and I mentioned certain scientific railgun, I've watched that fucking show like a hundred times and I still had to catch myself and think, what are their names again? <laughs> and it's just because I'm a stupid white person who cannot adjust to other it's languages. It's not your language. Like, yeah, yeah. I know, but, Still, like every other game. country, like every other country like, is like, oh yeah, we'll learn like seventeen languages. That's that's normal. <laughs> Australians, try, I'm barely gonna learn English. Try half of the fucking bonkais in. Um, oh Bleach. my god, the the one that we were talking about belonging as like a villain in uh, Elden Ring, the science guys Ashi, bonkai. Uh, I'll, I'll Ashi have Zero, a crack. Ashi Zero. Close. Ashi. <laughs> Yeah, Ashi Soku Chizu. Or something to that effect. I think Ashi it's Soku actually. Chizu. Yeah, it's fucking. But it's a J, but the way it's pronounced, Jizu. Like, yeah. It sounds like a Japanese way of saying a cheese sandwich. Yeah, I would not eat this sandwich. Wait till you see it. <laughs> no. This thing is fucking terrifying. It's the stuff Nightmare Fuel is made out of, yeah, man. It, nice. it's, it's legit like an Elden Ring boss, dude. It's fucked. Oh, oh yeah. it really is. It really is. But anyway, um, so how did you go? So Jace hasn't seen Attack on Titan. He has seen Demon Slayer. So I've seen episode through... one of Attack on Titan. Attack run on Titan. Through... We'll, we'll get back to that. But yeah, Demon yeah. Slayer. Okay. Um, I actually really enjoyed it, and I thought the the pig head guy. I can't remember his name already. I don't Inosuke. know which one's which. Yeah, that's gay. I, I thought his oh, character was actually really cool. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> he was he was a lot of fun, and the fact that he just didn't turn out to be an asshole that uh, that they. The hero had to fight later i thought that was going to be a thing i was like oh cool well, he's going to run into this asshole later and he's going to be doing something inappropriate and he's going to have to kill him and then it happened i was like oh here's the inappropriate part where he's going to have to kill him and then he didn't and then they started getting along and i was like oh actually mm. this this guy's cool and so like you know they wreck their swords and he gets the the uh, stone yeah. like oh <laughs> he gets the new one and he's like <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's just freaking out. I, I love fucking that. love him. Oh. He is like my favorite character. He's so much fun. His English voice is the same voice as Kirito, but it's so different. Is it? For, from Sword Art Online, which you oh, might okay, know right, yeah. But yeah, no, 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 um, no, no, no. yeah, it's it's just a very different character, so it's like very yeah. interesting to watch. But um it yeah, Inosuke, I thought he was gonna be annoying as fuck. And then I was like, oh I but the only thing that's annoying me about him now is that I still want his actual backstory other than raised by boars. It's really annoying me, the whole <laughs> mystery behind him. I'm like, how did you develop breathing techniques? 
who's the demon slayer that you just fucking stole swords off what is any of that like that has not yet been explained in the second season either i i I totally want it to just be him just giving really shit expl- like I want it to be like yeah. um, Dark Knight Joker sort of thing I was about to say that like, exactly just giving yes. bullshit <laughs> backstories yep, that, yep. that Every you're 100% time. sure are just fucking lies I, yeah. I, I, I want that Give yeah. me that's that what in he did escape. in Mugen For Train, sure. though. So that's why you're thinking that, because he had his yeah. dreams where they were his minions. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually the only dream part in Mugen Train I appreciated. The rest was, like, boring as shit. I didn't yeah, care. 100%. So that was cool. Um, so you liked it. You're in yeah. line with the rest yeah. of the world, uh, including my it. partner. It's her very nice. first anime. You nice. can pull a lot of people, I think, into anime with Demon Slayer. Well, they, they introduced a really badass boss and you know that he is way too OP to take on. And so he doesn't, which was smart as well. But, like, he just feels strong as shit. You're just yeah. like, oh, man, this guy's next level strong because oh, he's corner, like, yeah. next level strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah MJ. <laughs> 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 he looks like he him just so needs bad. He some more runes. <laughs> We can cut that. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Nah>, that's staying. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. Um, I, sometimes I worry that, like, Jace and I are going to get the show cancelled through some hella, <laughs> like, loud joke or something. And then every now and again, you just blurt something out that I'm like, was that a crime? Did you just actually say a crime? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't do this often, so <laughs> I'm fine. Hell. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't do it often okay, enough so to know if I'm saying something bad. So you like it? I liked it. Yes, so far so good. I will definitely uh, indulge in further seasons. That is for sure. So that was the only one that was on Netflix, strangely enough, though. Which makes me start to think that they may have some sort of relationship with uh, the country role, um, you know, build up, you know what I mean? Not uh, necessarily. They just have, like, they've been getting more and more rights to a lot of anime yeah. in general. So it just seems somewhat intentional that they only have, like, you know, almost a tease of it. Nah, uh, so, so the reason for that is because season two is quite new. They're really slow on their anime uptake. Like, right. as far yeah, as I'm so, aware, isn't there four they seasons it? of it? No. Oh. So if there's not a Netflix exclusive, like if it's not created by Netflix, typically mm. the deal is that it is a X amount of time it has to be shown on uh, like Crunchyroll or previously also Funimation. So before they're allowed to obtain it. But you have to remember season two only finished like three weeks ago. Right, yeah. right. So okay, it, okay. It's going to be quite some time until it comes to Netflix. Like, I if for example... Does. Uh, they still don't have season three of um, a certain scientific railgun. Or that's Tokyo season, Girl. I that's think they season, only have two. Yeah, actually, they might have. Because I, I think I had to go through other means to get uh, season three. Because so I saw yeah. the first two on Netflix. And I was like, oh, this show's so good. And there's a third <laughs> season? <laughs> that's a trap. Then, oh, that sucks. <laughs> and then that's I got fucking Admiral Ackbar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> Uh, in the worst way. Yeah, yeah. you have to cut um, that in there. Just a, a quick Admiral Act. Yeah, just measure her. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to put it straight over Justin's head when he says it. Yeah, perfect. Yes. <laughs> um, and then Attack on Titan. Um, it makes me uncomfortable to watch that somehow. Like, the, the Titans are just fucking weird. They're yeah. just, I don't know, man. There's <laughs> something about them. Like, it's not even the, the disproportionate parts of, like, their bodies that are, like, bigger or smaller sometimes. They just look and feel bizarre. Like, I just don't feel comfortable looking at them. Yeah. And I think it was it's intentional, common... I guess. Like, yeah. ish. But it's just, oh, they're just like uneasy. I think the thing is, <laughs> so I feel like you, you hit it on the head and then moved away from it, which is interesting. But uh, it's because they are so humanoid, but only tweaked a little bit. And then you don't yeah. notice their size until you see a normal person. So it's the the tweaking is like there's too many rows of teeth or their head is too big for their body or something like that. All of this you could ignore until it shows them next to a normal person and they're like, you know, yeah. 20 feet tall. I think that's and what you're it like, is, yeah. Yeah, I think it's because they're not so unhumanoid that you immediately notice. It's just 
you see them and you're like and for some reason I don't know if it's because most of them have a big head and a little body they all look a little childlike in a weird way somewhat yeah so, some of them do some of them do like that some big fucking don't. head and like they're but running they just look and they're sort kind of, of naked so you're like blase oh, it's a innocent baby sort running. of I don't yeah know. it's some real weird sort of but it is creepy as fuck and it's it's good because mm. it, it it invokes what it's supposed to because it's some version of like uncomfortable and fear yeah and then you see them chomping on people and you're like this is brutal as hell like this is i intense. just love the line at the end of the first one which is why i can't believe you only watched episode one just uh J- jace because like episode one ends and he's just like on that day we realized humanity a cattle and i was like this show is fucking nuts <laughs> like i need more i love but the idea like... that they just like they don't even have to eat them like they eat so many of them sometimes mm. that they actually like regurgitate them up like uh, they also don't need human sustenance. hairballs like they're just like yeah. there's so much so many people so watching this right now being like oh justin you're in for a ride yeah but, i'm like, sure <laughs> there's so there's so much um what I was worried it was going to do and what, like, before even looking into it whatsoever, I just saw giant people and I was like, okay. So I kind of already guessed that one of the guys, one of the heroes was going to turn into one of these things at some stage or something was going to happen where they controlled one or something was going to yeah. happen. And then it was just oh, going to so be like Gundam. <laughs> big, big battles. Exactly. I was like, oh, cool. So this is just going to be like people they in don't meat, focus meat on robots. That, though. I was like, great. <laughs> 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 like, this is going to be shit. Obviously, meat mech warrior it's, not a spoiler. <laughs> it's not a spoiler at this stage to say that that is obviously what occurs. Okay. I didn't want to ruin However, it for anyone, but yeah. No, 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 dude. We're, we're, I have no yes. idea how old it is. So yeah. So, yeah. but it's, um, even though, the action isn't the point of Attack on Titan. That's the weird thing about it, is the mystery and the like drama of it is not built mm. into it being purely action. The action's fucking cool. Don't get me wrong; like it's fun to watch unfold, especially the fights. Yeah. But like, yeah. it's not the focus. It never is. Yeah. Like the, the their suits are the... really they're a unique idea. I've never seen anything in my anime experience or my actual experience yeah. in movies and whatever to the, like that looks like that that's a really cool idea yeah yeah it's so the, the way they move around with the OD, odm gear uh the, yeah it, it's yeah. um it's been described as like steampunk spider-man and that's yeah that's a cool idea accurate yeah. like st- steampunk spider-man with swords Gas like it's pretty... like pulley system basically that just yeah it's a really quite often they're just cool. there floating in the air having a discussion about something as they're yeah. floating through <laughs> yeah. a dangerous That's anime, wild though. Wood. every second lasts as long as you need it to to describe the plot yeah <laughs> like, 10 minute later <laughs> still like floating. floating in the air being like it, it's, it's imagine jace if spider-man was like did his thing and then he was getting ready to do the next one and instead of it being one thought it was a 10 minute conversation before he launched the next one yeah that's, like, like meanwhile every like fucking... buildings are flying past like <laughs> yeah like, that's a bit of attack on titan you yeah. know what i'm thinking back from when i was a child <laughs> yeah yeah that, that sums up so much like watching bleach because that's all i've been oh. watching lately <laughs> Every time a villain's like, ah, this is my ability. Let me tell you about when I was a child and I first learned about this ability. This is what it does and this is its weaknesses. 17 <laughs> episodes later. And this yeah. is me using my ability. <laughs> and that's when you know I got where... my first pet cat. <laughs> you know where Bleach wins in those categories though? Typically, not in every instance, but in most instances, it's just... That you can skip it. <laughs> Is and that... it won't mean shit. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> no, nah, often it does. Uh, but it's a uh, very good written dialogue or just well translated. Like a lot of the lines, the way they're delivered, not every enemy. There are obviously throwaway enemies in that show, but like a lot of them, the enemies deliver their lines well, the heroes deliver their lines well. You actually give a shit. It's yeah. not just fighty, fighty, but... punch, punch. Like, especially, like, I mean, think about, like, Ichigo's fight with Renji. I fucking love that when he first gets in, in the Soul Society. Yeah, yeah, I not, not the first one. And he's doing the, like, they're doing the flashback to his training with uh, Kisuke and then flash into the fight. And he's, like, doing that when you protect someone, you don't let them get hurt. And when you attack, you kill. 
like it's it's really fucking cool the way they did that like the lines were delivered well like the, they do that the in demon slayer with well. the you know the yeah. flashbacks as he kills them you know and he sees like part of their uh yeah their backstory demon slayer and does this weird thing where they want you to be they, a lot of shows want you to feel empathetic to the bad guys but demon slayer mm. does it harder much harder <laughs> yeah they push hard like every every demon's just got this rough rough story of how they became a demon or how like they <laughs> it's like no one was just a normal guy just like just walking yeah. along happy living my life yeah, yeah. they're Got like my, i killed three thousand kids people. Ah, now i'm a demon and they're, they're yeah. always just like oh i've had a real rough life i've just been beaten to shit and yeah now yeah. this is me <laughs> wait till you get far enough in bleach and they start trying to do that with um some of the iran car because uh yeah they they tack it on like just be- like you see this Arunka for like fucking 85 episodes and then all of a sudden right before he dies they're like oh and this is his you know horrific backstory that we'll give 35 <laughs> seconds to um, and now, he's dead. now you've got to feel empathy and dead and he gone <laughs> yeah uh, bleach, bleach be like that it's like great show shooting. but um yeah, uh, is are Probably we about time, ready for half? Time for the little old lunch break. Oh, go get your snack box. <laughs> 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 we got ours um, here. Yeah, supplied by this wonderful advertisement. Chief, I don't care about you. I love Schnalo. He knows how to treat a woman. He gets me all hot and slimy. Schnelo 2, Cortana's Gone Bananas. All right. Thank you for sticking around for our advertising. I forgot how to talk for a moment there. <laughs> um, <laughs> what uh, was that? So I was trying to think of a way. That's my favorite intro ever. <laughs> I'm making a short out of that. <laughs> so, just just the, Jace flailing around <laughs> going words. I think he's saying, kiss me, kiss me. <laughs> Smart ass motherfucker. <laughs> so my plan was to try and bring it back and then make something difficult for you. I was going to reference that you were voicing the ad, so then you would have to find an ad where you're voicing it <laughs> yeah. to edit. But then I forgot words and then my brain turned off and I'm started weaving. <laughs> um, but Shit. yeah, so we're back from that super amazing ad. Yeah, um, thanks for all the money, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I got a beanie. Yeah, keeps yeah. me warm in the winter time. <laughs> they couldn't afford the hair transplant, but they got him a beanie. Couldn't afford the heater out here, but I got a beanie. Thanks, guys. It's all that matters, man. <laughs> so we've been talking about big bad tough guys. So let's let's tone it down a bit. We got to keep it weeb, but uh, let's talk about the feels. And uh, I am the last here, which. Seems bizarre. It is Slice weird. of life. And I'm the last one here to have watched Weathering with you. Very strange. Yeah. So, first thing I'd like to comment on is being in New South Wales right now, and this is going to be three weeks late, <laughs> so it's going to be irrelevant, but Weathering with you is so fucking relevant mm. because it has been pissing down rain for like a month until recently. The yeah. only guy whose place hasn't flooded, by the way. Justin's like, had to yeah, move his yeah. whole shed. <laughs> I had to go pack sandbags by fucking hand, scooping shit in with my hands because I didn't take a shovel. <laughs> Sorry that I live on a house that is elevated. <laughs> I live in what's the Highlands. Strange, I didn't think it would ever the... be a problem. It's called the Highlands. <laughs> not high enough, clearly. Yeah, we're, we're not on the hill. We can't afford it to be on the hill. We're at yeah, the bottom of it. <laughs> go live up on Mount Gibraltar, bro. Should we yeah. that? Well, what's um, funny is that you're the one that lives closest to the, like, the most flood-affected area as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's only around the corner from you, really. Yeah, yeah. Like, Lismore is not far. So now, yeah. anyone who's getting real fan fanboyed out, like, you can narrow <laughs> the search. Narrow the search. He's near Lismore. Yeah, just go check Who every f- house. How the fuck just am check I near Lismore? Every house until you see a window with the reverse image of that picture in the background of Jace. That's the house. <laughs> Except that is uh, pinned on a blackout curtain. 
So oh, good luck to you. Dang. <laughs> I don't want to know he's got houses black 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 curtains curtains. somewhere near Liz. Okay, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure every second house near him has black deck curtains. I am a basement dweller myself. We live in pitch blackness. Like I have several lamps around me just to make this amount of lighting that you see. His electricity bill is ridiculous. <laughs> it, it actually is. Like it's nearly eight hundred bucks a quarter. Yikes! Like, it's jacked. Ouch. Um, but anyway, Jesus. back to weathering with you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn <Yeah>. vampire. <laughs> um, yeah. So weathering with you. Um, I finally saw it. Um, you were dead on when you said that the animation was amazing mm. but obviously um big your name fan so that's to be expected absolutely um i do have a bit of a mild take on it Th this is tandoori take we're not we're not going all the way to vindaloo here <laughs> just a tandoori take <laughs> yeah okay um it's it's definitely not as good as your name no i agree 100 percent. yep I... yeah i'm down yeah so so i think i think the animation may have got an upgrade on the regular so i maybe. feel like your name i feel like your name saved it for the moments that counted like the comment showers and stuff like that yeah. whereas yeah but they're not walking around with powers with you, all the time yeah but weathering with you i felt like like all of the rain looked outrageous and that was basically yeah. the whole movie i felt like the background scenes like when there was like straight views of a shop and i was like holy shit <laughs> it looks yeah, outrageous so so i didn't notice like most of the animation that i noticed was stuff like you know when they're on the rooftop and the camera yeah. pans around them and you see the like yeah, background, really right? nice yeah. railing yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, nice railing <laughs> that little, sort of stuff was that was where little, i was like oh nice but um <laughs> I like I noticed the rain looked nice, but it didn't look extraordinary as far as yeah, okay. like it, I, it I didn't just... stand out at least. Aside from it was very atmospheric. Like visually just... the atmosphere was strong. Yeah. I, maybe it comes from growing up and also these days still watching a lot of anime. Yeah, fucking grow up, someone... Chase. Shit. <laughs> Brady growing <laughs> no, up no, no. still no, watches no. cartoons for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up watching anime, though, I mean, and like seeing someone like in that opening scene, and then the whole sh the whole movie kept this standard where she's looking out a window, and there's the reflection of her, and then there's the rain hitting it, and it doesn't look like a um like a loop. It looks like every drop was individually done. Yeah, that's yep. that's what blew my mind with other end with you. But it, I I don't hard disagree, but I feel like maybe it's recency bias. I felt more range of emotions in weathering you with you than i felt in your name i felt like with your name i felt uh mostly laughing and silliness initially and then a little bit of like oh damn and i'm not gonna spoil up but just oh damn and then oh okay they'll round this out it'll be all right but with weathering with you it was like okay that's a bit dark like initially it was pretty like dark stories all around and then like dark and then dark and then oh sh shit's getting cool okay and then quick montage everything's happy everything's fun they got a thing going on and then oh that's the consequence oh fuck mm. oh look those guys from your name ah and then right anxiety, yeah that was cool anxiety <laughs> anxiety 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 just building like i was genuinely like heart beating like Fuck! And then, oh, they're not gonna happy ending really necessarily. Maybe kind of, and then I'll leave that there so it's not a okay. spoiler. So, well, so my next part is gonna have to be sort of spoilerish. So here I is to your avoid that. <laughs> your weathering with you spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler noise made. Yeah, perfect. Um, so my, one of the key problems that I had with weathering with you, um, that I didn't find with your name is with your name, it starts, you know, funny little freaky Friday type thing. Then mm. it gets a bit curious and then it gets sort of 
dark and anxious when you hear about the media and stuff. Yeah. And then it's not long. And then it starts building this anxiety, like what what's happening? What can they do? Like, can they fix this? Mm. And then it gets to the point where they're like, oh my God, they, they fixed it. But then that builds a whole new anxiety because of the whole forgiveness bit that I won't go into too yeah. much. And then they cut it off just at, at that perfect timing where you're not a hundred percent sure how everything's gonna go. Yeah, but and I felt that that is the ending that I crave, right? Mm. When you get to weathering with you, they they come <laughs> full circle. They they Final Fantasy ten uh, to this, and they're like, oh no no no, I get that there was a whole sacrifice and she's fucked off to the sky now but no no old mate's just gonna jump through a construction site and save her are you f he's just a normal dude and he just steps through a construction site and saves a girl from some eternal sacrifice no no and then, so what got and me then with that sort of happy endings from there and i'm like it wasn't a happy ending though what people Half died yeah, but like they Fucking got the whole country ending. was underwater. Then, okay. <laughs> like that's global warming. We're getting that anyway. <laughs> yeah. That that's that's actually uh, annoyingly weathering. You has been nuked by a few people on the internet because they feel like it's too strongly metaphorical of global warming. Which I was have like, have they uh, never played a Final Fantasy game? Like eighty percent of them are like. Yeah very it's, much environmentalist themed i just feel like the anxiety with your name was um are they gonna fix this and then somewhat again spoiler happy ending whereas with weathering with you there was that um chase moment i'm trying mm -hmm. not to be too yeah, yeah. specific my heart was actually fucking hard beating and like uh the the moment where he like picks up the gun and like uh, i like i was that seems genuinely so like, bizarrely out of character though mm. it didn't though no no, no it didn't like uh, i i, I, I beg to differ like I, I don't know like watching his that behavior to me screamed of genuine desperation which is yeah, what i felt leading up to that. it so I, I, felt... I understand the desperation but He's also like the target selection in that sequence because he aims at people like a person who was trying to help him. Yeah, that's that, that's what that, screamed more of desperation in me. He was just he's like, just aiming it at everyone. He's yeah. at the end that of just, his rope, which is what he was. He literally escaped jail and like went through but, a fucking weather storm to get to that point and then oh, felt like he was being stopped. And then saw but this all of thing. this is built in like three seconds of desperation. What? Yeah, that's how real desperation works, though. You're making decisions on the fly. I felt like the writing yeah, and like... weathering with you, and in those moments, in that whole lead up, and the like, maybe two to three scenes before it, I th felt like that was the most realistic you could have a story that has magical elements. Because I felt yeah. like that was genuine human behavior if you were forced into that situation. It all felt like, real. The way like he the moved. escape, yes. But like that no, gun. That was sequence. the most unrealistic part. Didn't he dress like a girl? No, no, not, <laughs> not that bit you fucking tell. I mean, the fact <laughs> that he desperately tried to escape. That was realistic. The problem I have was more with his reaction when he got to the gun sequence, as we will call it. I don't know. That that all, that, to me, felt Because super he had an opening real. to run. Like, they weren't going to shoot him. He had free reign to his right-hand side. He had an opening to go to the right to get to the roof. They show that. I know this because I watched it not that long ago. Yeah, he does. And that was the first thing I thought of: is why bother point the gun? Leg it, just run. He had an opening and he didn't take it. 
Instead, they had that sequence. And I... Like, I understand that you're trying to point to irrationality and desperation, but it seems irrational on top of out of character. So I, that's I, I, where... I didn't feel out of character. I felt like that was on character. You have to remember what happened at the beginning of the movie where he, like, held it to someone. Yeah, but mm. that was also someone that was trying to... As opposed to five people holding a gun to him? But those are also <laughs> police officers? And Yeah, but he's desperate. And he, like, but he also had a way out. Like, Yeah, he, like, yeah I, I won't there, disagree there is a, with... There is a pause. I, I know what Jace is saying. There is a bit of a pause yeah, between... Yeah, there is a moment where the he The moment decides. where he picks up the gun or he can just run off and he decides to pick up the gun. Uh, Fair. One thing I will say, though, is... Uh, whether I'm with you, whether you liked it more or less than your name, made you feel a fuckload, obviously, because we just sat mm. here and argued about it oh, for yeah. like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. It, it, the feels were not just good animation, because I appreciate good animation, but yeah. I mm -hmm. also appreciate good story writing, and Justin is a DM, and Jace is a, a gaming enthusiast, as well as just like a super slice of life guy who does watch anime. The, Miss the fact that I used to like write poetry and get awards for it and shit, you know, just we'll skim over that. <laughs> Brady's like, wait, what? <laughs> Miss that bit of my backstory? Wow. Yeah, we, I, I need a backstory for that. But we'll, we'll come back to we'll come back to that basement dwellers. If you want that, you've got to uh, join the Patreon. That's not live. Yet. <laughs> um, that's uh, but the weathering with you definitely. Um, it made you feel shit. It was good writing. Oh, 100%. Whether you loved it so, more or less than your name, worth watching. It doesn't matter. 100%. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you like it like, or um, even if you didn't really like it. I think everyone should still watch it. I think they're going to I completely agree. take something away from it, even if it did feel, make you feel like, oh, you know, that was too intense or, oh, I feel too much. <laughs> something like, about this. I don't know. But I, I think it was really good. Like it. Yeah. Like it. Hit home. In the grand scheme, as much as I sound like I'm shitting on it, if I were to rate my name, uh, sorry, your name, I've yep. been watching Korean shows <laughs> called My Name. Yeah, go for Jeez. it. Jeez. Um, so, yeah, if I was to rate your name 9 out of 10, Weathering With You would be an 8 out of 10. Like, yeah, it'd be a close second. Yeah. For all my criticisms, it is still fucking brilliant. Like, in all honesty, if they had have just cut it with sort of like his rush to the top of like the gun scene and just ended it there without any finite conclusion that would have put it on par with your name for me yeah it's I get just you. the fact yep. that they gave me that happy ending and i will sort of explain why i consider that a happy ending so this comes back to video games as everything does with me um <laughs> But there is a video game called Bastion, right? And the end basically gives mm. the end basically gives you two choices. You either choose to resurrect everyone, but everyone will forget your adventure to save everyone from the calamity, or you can continue with everyone dead except you, um, your like friends and love interest and all that. And you just continue living in this void where there's no one. I, mean, I chose that. Like a pretty straightforward you answer, chose right? The void. A hundred percent. I chose the void. Yeah. <laughs> and and so that's why I see weathering with you as the happy ending. He gets the happy ending because I I'm one of those only, people who live vicariously does. through um, they leave the you protagonist. A, um, so. They they do leave you an ambiguous moment though towards the ending there where. Uh, he goes and sees the old lady who talks about it at one stage and she talks about how once before this has happened so someone must have prevented a sacrifice of a son uh what were they called like a sun uh, girl or something sunshine mm. girl yeah, yeah sunshine girl she, yeah. She, she she yeah she says oh once before someone must have prevented it and yet the world moved on so it is somewhat of a happy ending but it's also not like it I, I'm actually interested to know if they make another sequel, not sequel, because Weathering with You included the Your Name people 
as brief cameos and they were just enough. I felt like they nailed that cameo level. Yes, I that completely awesome. agree. However, I did Google something because I was like, wait, was that the cameo that I thought it was? Because it's been a while since I've seen mm -hmm. your name versus... I, I was the um, same and I had, it hadn't been that long for me at all. Yeah, and I was like, is that them? It's the I right Googled amount. it and I ended up finding an article um, that talks about how nerds in the anime circle are all bitching and moaning because the timelines don't add up. Oh, fuck them. Because the end of um, Your Name no should be 2022, which is after Japan should be flooded, but Japan is not flooded at the end of Your Name. Therefore, they cannot technically be the same instance it's so they're talking fun. about multiverse Fuck things off. and oh that's a bit of a stretch <laughs> in in all honesty i like the idea of just having cameos in like they can be holy stories yeah. and just add a little cameo like yeah. you know i that, just thought it that's was just fun. a bit of fun I, I didn't think of them as true things i thought it was um because like you said jace actually the end of your name was somewhat open to a, how do you want to play with it yeah. Same as with Weathering With You. Putting cameos of your name in Weathering With You didn't necessarily mean, no, now you're locked into that ending. It just meant, here's one that could have happened, play with that. Well... That's how I felt that, about it. That, that ending, I didn't feel like, like it was that, solidified. That, I just felt that, like, cool. But that cameo didn't really cover anything... No. With say. the ending of your... like. It, it was ambiguous enough that you could just be like, eh. Did you not feel like it implied they're engaged? I had implied oh. that she's engaged to someone. And then you saw him and he's engaged. It... Yeah, I, it, like... I think it was pretty yeah. implied that they're... I actually yeah. don't remember seeing him, strangely enough. What? what? I, I'm it's pretty his sure grandma. I only see him. Yeah, it's him and his no, grandma. No, you see her. She's at oh, the jewelry Lordy. store, dude. Ah, oh, right. I, yeah, yeah. I, I saw the jewelry store, but I did not pick them as the, <laughs> the one with the grandma. How weird is that? She, she is went... in it for like 10 seconds. 10 whereas seconds he's at in the it, jewelry store. She's the person that yeah. sells the jewelry. Yeah, whereas he's in it like for twice, a good I think. bit. And he, yeah. he gives the main I... character advice. It's his grandma that the talks about The bomb just it. dropped just now. I'm just like, <laughs> I wow. I can't believe they did the awesome. opposites with that cameo. Yeah, that's weird. I was looking for the I was looking for the chick the whole time, though, to be honest. I no, didn't I saw them both. Yeah, no, wow, she's the jewelry store girl. He's the one that's who's cool. the grandma they go and seek information from. Right, that, um, that definitely yeah. helps. But <laughs> all the same... Um, okay, so now it seems far less open-ended. But... All the same, I think that's it's, it's that's still a good. It's just impossible. It's just cool though. Like it's just and fun. Like you probably should have watched your name. You know, if you're watching it in some sort of an order, I suppose that's the order you watch it in. Watch I'm your name and then you watch they whether more, Because like Demon Slayer, so I'm the one who will go read manga when I get super into stuff. But I also try to research that stuff to find out if i'm hurting myself in that process so like demon slayer the animation is so good i don't want to read it whereas like tokyo ghoul there was no guarantee there was going to be a season three when two ended and i needed more so i yeah. went and read it um and then got disappointed with season three but <laughs> i i went and read it um with weathering with you and your name i th because they're movies maybe but i don't want to I know it, there's a whole series of these, but I don't want to go find out if there's more where there'll be future cameos because I just want to watch it on screen because they're animated so fucking beautifully. The storyline yeah. is so good. I, I have a feeling I they wouldn't have written those in cameos surprise. in. I feel maybe. like they're, they're like, they could be a movie I, bonus, you. you know what I mean? I, I, yeah. Maybe it's supposed to be my part in this show to know these things, but I, I just enjoyed so much not knowing that I don't want to research it. I just liked mm. it. Yeah, but I, I think, like, that's always a good thing. It's sort of like, you know, like, with Marvel films, you're always new to expect Stan Lee somewhere in the background. Shit like that. Yeah. Like, you don't sit there and think, oh, well, you know, Stan Lee's a janitor now or anything like that. It's just a little bit of fun where they're, like, referencing and paying homage to their own history. Yeah. And, yeah. like... 
the people behind your name and withering with you and such don't have a long history but referencing their own creations is just cool even yeah. if it's yeah. minor and inconclusive and stuff like that and they, they do this fun. a lot with uh with video games you know easter eggs are a big thing and i reckon we could probably do a whole episode on easter eggs um, yeah absolutely hidden easter eggs are huge like dying like two um recent ish game had a big one where you could go into a uh into a room that took quite a lot of work to actually break into and the the devs just had pictures of like themselves and all of the other games that they'd worked on like down a massive hallway so that actually a huge one just thinking about easter eggs now when you mention it <laughs> thinking Sorry. easter's I just realized already been and gone we're talking about a movie by the way <laughs> weathering with you was actually came out in 2019 yeah it's not even new it's, it's not that funny. new yeah it's fine <laughs> um but yeah so um one really cool easter egg that um overwatch had that uh i always thought was interesting but um it's so much cooler now that i'm heaps into elden ring but um there's one map where if you go into one of the back side rooms there's um a bonfire like from dark souls with the sword in it and the fireplace and a little bit of fire it does nothing but it's just there in this side room that very few people would ever need to go into mm. and i'm like that's fucking cool just a little tribute to dark souls that is pretty cool yeah yeah and yeah. Th there is another interesting one as well that they did um a guy who was heaps keen on overwatch coming out um was actually uh killed um just before overwatch came out trying to stop a robbery or something i believe it was um and so before the game came out they um put like a statue like memorial type thing on one of the maps with their name at the bottom of the statue as like just a nice tribute to the, cool someone homage. who really wanted the game how do they know like some, some guy I, just I was think... verbally excited about it like yep real keen and then just got he... himself apparently he was like big in the blizzard community because people right. who are into blizzard games are like really into them like i just got in in overwatch but usually people who are into overwatch also play world of warcraft all the original warcraft starcraft that's pretty much all the blizzard have done <laughs> everything but, craft <laughs> um but yeah like the, they're usually super into that shit. um and I'm guessing that he was just huge in that Blizzard community and then his passing got through to development and they were like, fuck, let's put a tribute in. Mm. And it's just a nice, simple thing, but it's a fucking cool little Easter egg. Yeah, nice. Speaking of Easter eggs, how was your Easter, boys? <laughs> it was great. Uh, yeah. I had heaps of uh, dairy-free eggs. <laughs> <laughs> me too because um, i can't do dairy so <laughs> sweet. it's not a vegan thing i just can't do dairy no brady's vegan yeah. get Stop. him internet meat eaters <laughs> yeah i ate so many chocolates it was great yeah it was same a great time it was really good <laughs> what did you get up to brady on easter i'm not doing this <laughs> come on man i'm not playing this game everybody knows we film ahead of time no they don't no this is live no this is yeah straight up this, this is basically on a, minute. a stream <laughs> it is it is streaming f straight out of my brain pan uh, i've been trying to suss out uh if there's more coming with these people uh nope they've made their two movies <laughs> my done. kanji ability cannot decipher that unfortunately um there, there is more from them but, already on netflix yeah, it looks like there's more filming for another movie uh, started in December in 2021. So that's that's all I can gather. Anything more than that requires a level of kanji I don't currently have. Coward. Mm, pretty uh, soft. But what actually surprises me, by the way, is that Weathering With You gets a shocking amount of people saying it's a disappointment. And I just want to know from you guys, because you're different to me, um yeah do you feel smarter. like it was a disappointment <laughs> I don't know. If you, I came said into you it... didn't feel like it was as good as your name but did you feel disappointed 
I feel like no. a disappointment no, no, is shitty happy. internet bullshit. Yeah. I, I would say so. It's either that or it's like, you know how everyone is fucking stupid and thinks that sequels <laughs> need to be like the exactly next the level same. up? Yeah. Like, I know that this isn't actually a sequel, but it's like all those people like, I've been going through a lot of random YouTube videos, but one thing I found out is people were fucking furious about Dark Souls 2 because they didn't think it was as good as Dark Souls 1. Whole bunch of reasons about it, not going to go into it, but people seem to think that everything needs to eclipse its predecessor, mm. which I don't think is necessarily the case. No. I think as long as it's roughly on par with the previous instance, but it provides something new, then the, I've got what I want out of it. The thing is, though, that the, the guys who made your name, when you watch your name, now you know what they do and what you're going to expect from the next things. So they already have expectations and they yeah. already know that something's going to come up and it's going to make feelsies and it's going to make you think and there's probably going to be a climatic moment. And I know I'm pretty much describing anything. Yeah, but... <laughs> you've literally described any how movie. movies work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but you you get the vibe of your name, and it's a one time thing. You watch it once, you you get it. You watch it again, and it's not a surprise anymore. So yeah, no, you watch but the I next still thing have feelings, and you know the style of you know filmography, all of that. It's it's all there. It's already there. You already know it from the previous one. So it's not as wow factory the second time in. I, I definitely get you there, but yeah. I think the problem, like, because it's not them repeating themselves, because my um, lack of enjoyment in certain parts yeah. is more because of how they've deviated from your name, in the sense of, like, giving more closure and things like that. Which means that they are deviating. Like, they aren't just providing that same experience. Yeah, you know, to come in and expect feels and things like that. But it, it is providing something new. Like, you've got this different supernatural aspect. You've got a different way that the story comes to a head. And it's not necessarily... Like, it's not just following that same trope. Yeah. So yeah. they have definitely offered that variety. So I think, if anything, people are probably coming into it expecting the same as your name or better. And their yeah. deviation was different in a way so, that they didn't like it. So they're like, I didn't like it's that. It's the Dragon Ball thing. It's, oh my God, it's a powered up meteor. This one's <laughs> bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they wanted bigger meteors. <laughs> seven I, love interests yeah yeah that all can't remember each other's names <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's got writing all over their arms like what the hell is going on <laughs> yeah i i've had several people inside of me <laughs> <laughs> that's, that was what justin got up to over easter <laughs> that's that's the anime glyphner which you'll have watched now um as homework have, have either of you you haven't watched the silent voice have you Nah, I, I've nah. got it there. I'll get around to it. So it's a completely different uh, studio, completely different writers, but uh, in terms of feels as homework, whether before the next episode or a future episode... Definitely future watch, episode. Do, do watch... Um, <laughs> watch The Silent Voice because it's a movie and I I loved your name and I loved Weathering With You, even if at times it made me uncomfortable and sad. I loved that it did that. I loved that it made me feel things as an animation i feel like that's always a win i've never actually yelled at a tv in a live action or anime and then i fucking screamed at the tv in the middle of a silent voice there's a particular scene and we can talk about it after you guys have watched that it. seems awful I know. fucking ironic <laughs> i'm just I picturing know. absolute silence the whole time you just ah! <laughs> no no Kia. A, a, a character uh... wasn't doing <laughs> In no need of Sam Smug, a character was not doing... Just say that. something! <laughs> Anything! It's been 30 minutes of silence! Just, I just, uh... Just watch it. And, and let me know, because they do artistic things. They also do, like, a lot of... It's just good writing. 
and I just want to know other people's opinions because we've all had different ones of weathering with you and I think they've given a, a good picture for people but a silent voice um, to me is like probably better than both of them even though the animation quality is not on par that's a big fucking call man mm-hmm. just There's watch a it big and see call. how you go it's a different storyline and it just Real, uh, I'm, I'm glad they didn't just steal both weathering with you and your <laughs> main storyline. I can't just remember your it. name. Why watch, is it raining? It. <laughs> why is it, it raining come... comets? <laughs> and why can't I remember your name, but you can make the comets disappear? <laughs> it's raining <Right>. tiny comets. <laughs> why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> why don't even watch out of me? I hate you guys. <sighs> Silent comets raining down. <laughs> Well, I think that pretty much rounds out our obligatory me- uh, anime episode, right? Yeah, yeah. All We're I done, gotta do is tell people that we have social media: um, YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> Abo Hotel, um, Bebo, Bebo, yeah, yeah, Vampire Freaks, LinkedIn, uh, yeah, yeah, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. <laughs> we have business um, cards. Yeah. <laughs> We just leave them Cards. around some places. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, go find the blacked out curtains somewhere, not at Lismore, but near Lismore, and ask for the business cards for Basement Discourse. Yep. Flawless. Absolutely. Um, yeah, we've also got uh, Spotify, Discord. I think I named everything. I think um, that's about Apple. Apple? Apple Pods. That was it. No, no one cares about Apple. Mm. We've got the uh, Apple uses pears. little chuds. Bananas. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. Before we round out the episode, favorite fruit. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm, I'm going to lock in fig. Oof. Big call. It's just weird, man. They're just a weird fruit. Yeah, that is and a delicious. weird fucking choice. Yeah. 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 So chili is a fruit, so I got to go. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to go right out there and uh, say lime. Oh yeah, really? Lime. You're a sour motherfucker that doesn't No, me no. At all. So I don't really like sour all that much, but I like lime in shit. Yeah, yeah you're lime, a sour person in... though. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am the most <laughs> upbeat person on this podcast. <laughs> I'm the most positive guy we've got around here. Wow. You would think that's true if all you heard about him was he like watched a slice of life, but it's not true. Yeah, no, that's just so I can feel something. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and, well, I'm, wow. and 